In this scenario, I'll show how Vital Signs can help troubleshoot performance problems with your storage subsystem and if configuration choices you've made are contributing to this performance problem. I'm on the KPIs page in the Vital Signs for Exchange Server dashboard. I've customized the dashboard to show both the database and log read and write latency counters. These counters provide great insight into the response time of read and write operations on the disk. Oftentimes, performance issues related to the disk can be a result of poor configuration changes made when installing Exchange or setting up your disks. Vital Science provides a storage page, which shows you the physical disks, logical volumes, as well as where the mailbox stores, public folders, and log files reside on those volumes. This can provide some insight into configuration changes that may be causing performance issues. For example, mailbox databases and log files that may reside on the same physical disk. This Exchange server is a virtual machine running on Hyper-V server. To really understand how Exchange is performing, we need to take a look at Hyper-V, how its disks are configured, and how it relates to Exchange. I've switched to the Vital Signs for Hyper-V server dashboard, and here I've pre-configured the dashboard to look at the storage data counters. So I'm seeing the read and writes per second, as well as the total throughput, and if there's any errors occurring. This provides a very high level of what's going on at the host level, and I can drill in by going to the Virtual Machine page. Here I can select Exchange from the top view, seeing the performance characteristics of that VM in the bottom. So now I can see the storage throughput and any disk errors solely associated with the Exchange Virtual Machine. I can continue to dive deeper by going to the Virtual Hard Disk page. This page will reveal the virtual hard disks that are in use by Exchange and the performance characteristics of each of those virtual hard disks. Finally, just like in Exchange, it's key to understand the physical disks, logical volumes, and where the virtual hard disks reside in those logical volumes to determine if configuration changes can be made to improve performance of both Hyper-V and the Exchange virtual machine. For this, we have a storage page in the Hyper-V server dashboard. Much like we saw with Exchange, this shows the physical disk layout, the logical volumes, and where the virtual hard disks reside on those logical volumes. This graphical view provides a quick way to see how much of the logical volume is being consumed by a particular virtual hard disk. Additionally, it also shows what other virtual machines are present on this logical volume, which may be resulting in I.O. contention between the two virtual machines. These various features in Vital Signs provide an easy way to troubleshoot storage performance problems and find out if configuration changes can be made to improve performance overall.